Welcome once again to my channel. Today our lesson is mathematics grade 7 about service area over open cylinder and also over pipe. And to begin with, from our previous lesson, we derived a formula on how to come up with service area over cylinder. So today I want us to be very categorical. We still apply the same formula and now we'll be able to get service area over open cylinder. What is this open cylinder? How does it look like? This kind of a shape here, it's a cylinder. But as you can see, on the top part, there's no circle here. Like we can put water, we can put milk, we can put anything. Because this part here is open. Therefore, if you want to get the service area of our open cylinder, we still use our formula because our cylinder also has the curved surface. But when it, when it comes to the circles, it has only one circle at the bottom. If a cylinder is open, I'm shading here to indicate that this part is not there, it's open. So it still has the curved surface. At the same time, it also, it also has the height. Therefore, from our formula of getting service area of a cylinder, which was 2 pi r squared plus pi b h, we were saying 2 pi r squared because there were two circles. Right now, since it's open here, we have only one circle. Therefore, our formula for getting surface area over open cylinder becomes pi r squared, which is the area of only one circle, plus the curved surface is still there, which is pi d h. This is the formula for getting surface area over open cylinder. Like for instance, if you are told, Find the service area of an open cylinder whose diameter is, it has a diameter of 28 centimeters and a height of 14 centimeters. So how do we go about it? We applied the formula. It's pi r squared plus pi d h so let's get the pi r squared which is going to be 22 over 7 times our r and our r is 14 remember this is the diameter times 14 plus our pi d h which is the curved surface so 22 over 7 times 28 which is our diameter times our h and our h which is the height is 14 we begin by working out where we have the, the area of the circle by 7, 1, by 7, 2. 2 times 22 is 44. 44 times 14, this 14 here. 4 times 4 is 16. You write 6, carry 1. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1, 17. 1 times 4, it is 4. And then 1 times 4 is 4. And then we put them together. This is a 6. 7 plus 4, it's 11. Carry 1. 1 plus 1, it's 2. 2 plus 4, it's 6. And therefore, this is the area of our circle. Let's now work out the curved part, the curved service part. By 7, 1. By 7, 4. 4 times 22, it's 88. Then you say 88 times 14. 4 times 8 is 32. We write 2, carry 3. 4 times 8 is 32. 32 plus 3 is 35. 1 times 8 is 8. And 1 times 8 is 8. When we put together these, we, be, we get 2. 5 plus 8 is 13. We write 3, carry 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. That is 12. 32, which is 1,232. That is the area of the curved service. Now we put them together. We are putting together the area of that one circle plus the area of the curved service. So which is 1,232 plus 616. 2 plus 6, sorry, it's 8. 3 plus 1, it's 4. 
2 plus 6 is 8 and then we drop our one there and now we have our area of the open cylinder so the area of the open cylinder is 1848 centimeters squared just adding the area of one circle plus the curved surface now we are done with our task one we are now going to do our task two and our task two is the surface area of our pipe something like this a pipe should not be closed anywhere should not have a circle anywhere the surface area of a pipe is basically it's only the curved surface it is where the lab label is put sometimes questions are asked find the service area of the label that was used to market the product on the item remember this is a form of a cylinder but this one doesn't have the circles therefore we don't need to get the area of the circles we only need to get the area of the curved surface so how do we get the area of the curved surface the area of the curved surface as we had previously directed the formula is pi d pH. using the example whereby you are given a cylinder and the height is 14 and the diameter is 28 that was exactly what we just used right now so let's apply the formula to get now the service area of our pipe. And I've given you an example of pipe with something that looks like this. It doesn't have the circles. So let's apply it. It's going to be our pi, which is 22 over 7, times our diameter, which is 28, times our height, which is 14. Then now we cross multiply as we simplify by 7, 1, by 7, 4. 4 times 22 is 88. 88 times 14. 4 times 8 is 32. You write 2, you carry 3. 4 times 8 is 32. 32 plus 3 is 35. 1 times 8 is 8. And 1 times 8 is 8. When we put them together, this is a 2. 5 plus 8 is 13. 3 carry 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. And this is centimeters squared and this is now the service area of a pipe or of any label that has been put in a cylindrical container i wish you stop there and to just continue advising you to practice more in our textbooks and to continue subscribing and following my channel